Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I certainly hope you're having a fine one. I'm going to tell you precisely what this movie file is about. A whole lot of noise. Just kidding. Laugh. It's not all that, you know, serious or whatever have you. Well, actually, it could be serious with some people, depending on how you look at this. Okay, what I got here is a four-string Michael Kelly acoustic electric bass, a dragonfly, fretless chopper. Okay, all this movie file is about is the inherent problem with electric acoustic bass and basses, and that's feedback and distortion. You got a lot of it. The louder you get, the worse it is. It, it, it is a harmonic, electronic, by default problem that engineers have worked on for years. That's what my research has shown me. Now, on this Michael Kelly bass, and no way in shape of my shape or form of my cutting this bass down because it's got a notch filter, it's got a phase filter. They're, they've actually, on these Fishman electronics, put some stuff in here to, to, to help with distortion and th th especially that word feedback. And I'm going to show you. I've got a pig nose 30 watt amplifier here, a little practice amplifier. And, you know, I'm going to crank up the volume on this, uh, on this Fishman Electronics, on this bass guitar right here. And I'm going to crank up the volume on this little amp, and you'll you'll be able to hear all all kinds of distortion. Let me let me tell you that. Okay, listen. Okay. Now I'll just. Okay, that's not distorted right there. But listen, I'll crank the both of these. Volumes up. I'll crank up the volume on this, on this, these Fishman controls, and I'll take and cut this notch filter off. And you're gonna, you're gonna hear feedback. Trust me. Well, just simply in case you're you play an instrument similar to this or a, an acoustic bass electric bass you're not having a problem it's inherent your you, chances are you're not having a problem with your amp you're not having a problem with your instrument it's just an inherent problem and I would imagine there's probably filters out there considering we live in a world full of electronic gadgets and I know that getting away from your amplification helps out a lot because I play this bass all the time and, you know, with everything adjusted right and I don't have uh, feedback and distortion problems. So that's all there is to it. That's all I wanted to talk about. <laughs> so, don't, so don't get nervous if you got a little feedback and whatnot, have you? I just know one thing. If Jimi Hendrix was alive, he'd really love something like that. Considering he used to love to play off of feedback and distortion and whatnot have you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day.